Hello YouTube, welcome in, Duty Ron, checking back in with another video. And today we have, this afternoon here in New York, breaking news of Photos, Photos Dulos committing suicide. Guys, my name is Duty Ron, retired New York City police detective, and if you want all things in related to crime and breaking news, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get all things duty rod. Um, hello, Mahid, first one in. Welcome into the broadcast. Hello, Dr. Sexy, thank you so much for joining. Guys, we have uh, breaking news being reported just probably about an hour or so ago. Uh, photos, photos Dulos was found at his home, unresponsive uh, from uh, what appears to be a suicide attempt. This is um, the uh, wealthy, um, uh, father of five who disposed of his wife and her body was never recovered in uh, Connecticut. It's a very, very, very um, um, well-publicized case. He's out on $6 million bond and there was problems with the bond. There was supposed to be a bond hearing today and um, I think that he feared that he was going to have to go to jail. Just like Jeffrey Epstein, um, these cowards who take other people's lives and ruin them, uh, you know, murdering his wife and trying to cover it up, uh, as Photos Dulos did, um, and and he he saw that he perhaps was going to be going to jail and not being able to be out free, and he took the coward's way out. He took the coward's way out. Hello, all of my new subscribers, and welcome into this broadcast. This is a broadcast of some case that I had covered in the past. Um, Photos Dulos is accused of murdering his wife in in their far, uh, Fremington, Farmington, uh, Connecticut home. Very wealthy person. Hello, Matt Sully. Good to see you. Thank you to my channel members and all of my friends that are uh, coming on in. Hi, Jack's mom. Welcome in. So apparent suicide. Um, sources in the police department have him as um, deceased. Uh, there is no confirmed how he did this, whether it was by hanging uh, carbon monoxide or by gunshot. Um, they did have an overview of the site. There was a chopper up and they um, showed an overview of some tents and some, you know, um, they were trying to shield um, possibly a body on the ground. Uh, I know as from my, from my police department uh, experience, we do um, cover up a body if it's out and visible to the public. And if he was, um, if he had a pulse or if he was not uh, responsive and they were able to feel a pulse, EMS and the paramedics will do what they can to try to, um, to try to revive him. But um, I know that they're, yes, uh, Linda, yes, he committed suicide because today he was supposed to go in because his insurance company who was covering the bond hearing, um, uh, who's covering his bond, I think there was a problem with it and the six million dollars was not good and today he was supposed to go into court I believe in Hartford and um, he he saw that you know he probably was going to get remanded and by remanded saying he was going to go in he is dead keep calm uh, confirmation has been put out by law enforcement and I know from my experience once law enforcement says that it, he's he's gone and his attorney and his sister of course are saying that he's alive but he's not alive and guess what this earth and our planet that we live on is a much better place without a murderer like him walking the face of the earth so I'm not gonna shed any tear or uh, have any conversation uh, about this guy after this because he um, he's guilty of killing his wife and that's that is for sure CPR um, was done because paramedics and EMS and the police will always try to um, will always try to revive any patient, whether the person shot another cop or the person killed somebody else. If the police or paramedics and emergency technicians come on to the scene, they will try to uh, 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 revive or give medical attention to anybody. So that's what that's what's great about this. Uh, that's what's great about this country. It doesn't matter who you are or what you did, if you are in need of medical attention, you're going to get it. So um, so at the end of it all, guys, nobody should be 
even concerned. I'm telling you that once law enforcement uh, sources leak out that the that he is um, uh, deceased, then you could bet your bottom dollar that he is. Um, once he gets pronounced, whether it's on the scene or at the hospital, it's a wrap. Game over. So let me let me share out this broadcast, and we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll talk about it real quick. So I'm going to tweet it out on Twitter and then share to my um, to my um, Facebook group. So thank you to everyone. Bella Luna, uh, Jack Luck Blog, uh, Lisa111, channel member, Matt Sully, channel member, KDF. Thank you to everybody. Let me scroll back. Linda Jackson, he was in his house and basically uh, he was found unresponsive in his garage. Uh, you're welcome, Kansas. Thank you so much for being in here. Uh, thank you for sharing. Guys, if you don't mind, share it out. Follow me and subscribe to all of my social media. All one word, Duty Ron. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All one word. So this is a, this is a situation where, you know, um, no, no great loss. But I'm going to play a quick clip for you guys. I'm not going to be able to show it to you. But I'll play the audio real quick so you guys can hear it. Hold on. Stand by. Um, this was just from 20, 28 minutes ago. I'll play this real quick for you guys so you can hear the audio of the report. If I can get it. Thank you for following me on Twitter. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. All right, here's a report. You tell me if it's too loud. Just Breaking know. news right now is in Farmington. Police are at the home of Fotis Dulos, the estranged husband of missing mother Jennifer Dulos. Sources tell us that police were called there for a suicide attempt and that the person is now dead. News aid Sabina Koriakos is there live. Sabina? Jocelyn, sources are telling News 8 that Fotis Dulos was found dead at his Farmington home. Again, that is according to sources. We know there was some kind of a medical emergency at his home. Okay, let me just stop you right there. Sources are the police. The sources are police that, you know, behind the scenes let the news go, let the news know about cases like this. When there is, um, you know, the person is passed on and deceased and it's going to be a closure of a case or, you know, they're not going to be able to go after this person anymore, they release it um, before an official release. So I'm going to say that I don't care what his lawyer says or his sister says. This is good enough for me. For, Earlier with my this experience. morning, all of this happening as media was gathered here at Stamford Superior Hi, Court, Joyce. where Fotis Dulos was actually supposed to have an emergency bond hearing. We were hearing that his collateral that he had put up uh, for his bond through an insurance company was actually in trouble of being revoked and that he might have to re-enter uh, into custody of the Department of Corrections. Everybody was gathered. It was supposed to be in front of Judge. All right. So did you hear what he hear what she said? His bond was going to be revoked and he was going to be taken into custody by the Department of Corrections. And he knew that and his lawyer told him that and he took the coward way out. And his girlfriend is not going to be left to hold the bag. His girlfriend is just as guilty as he is because she got rid of all the blood-soaked clothing and she probably helped him murder her. So um, for those of you who um, uh, are putting the comments in about Photos Dulos' girlfriend, she's a piece of shit too and she is... Um, 100% just as guilty as he is with the murder and disappearance. We don't even know where this woman is. We don't even know if they chopped her up or threw her in the river or put her in a, 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 a you know, in a meat grinder or who, who knows what these psychos did. Okay. So his girlfriend, yeah, she's going to be charged just like he was. They both were going to be charged. So here we go. Gary White. However, as time ticked on, there was no sign of Fotis Dulos. His attorney, Kevin Smith, who works with his criminal defense attorney, Norm Pattis. Kevin Smith did arrive this morning, but again, there was no sign of Fotis Dulos. We then heard there was some kind of a medical emergency at his Farmington home. We spoke with the court personnel here who were scrambling to close up the courtroom, go up and inform Judge Gary White uh, of the issue, and apparently that Fotis Dulos was not going to make it here in court. And again, we are now hearing 
Sources confirming to News 8 that Fotis Dulos has been found dead at his Farmington home. Okay, when sources are confirmed to the news, it's not just somebody that called up and said, oh, Fotis Dulos is dead. The sources are police officers behind the scene that make the call to them and say, hey, the, the suspect in this case is dead. It, we had it all the time with the NYPD. There was people who went you know, around the official channels and got the information out. So let's not shed a tear about this. We are hearing this may have been uh, the result of this of Fotis Dulos. We then heard there was some kind of a medical emergency at his Farmington home. We spoke with the court personnel here who were scrambling to close up the courtroom, go up and inform Judge Gary White uh, of the issue. And apparently that Fotis Dulos was not going to make it here in court. And again, we are now hearing sources confirming to News 8 that Fotis Dulos has been found dead at his Farmington home. We are hearing this may have been uh, the result of a suicide Again, we are working to confirm the details right now. Kevin Smith, his attorney, appears to still be in the courthouse. We have not yet seen him leave, at least through the main entrance here. Uh, I did speak with somebody earlier who told me his attorneys are shocked at this news. But again, we are waiting for more information. Jocelyn, again, father of five, charged uh, in the murder of his missing estranged wife, Jennifer Doulos, now confirmed to be dead. Photos Doulos, Jocelyn. Sabina, thank you. You can stay up to date on all of our breaking news by downloading the free News 8 app. We'll also have the latest developments both on air and on our website at WTNH.com. Sabina, let's go back to you and just exactly who are you, what kind of information are you getting from your sources? I know they're, they've actually confirmed that he has died. Do we know anything more about the suicide attempt? We don't have any details. We just know that there were medical reports, uh, that there were reports rather that there were medical personnel at his home earlier this morning. Again, Jocelyn, he was scheduled to be in court for a noon hearing here on uh, for a bond hearing. Again, we know he was just in court uh, just a couple of days ago last week in front of Judge Gary White. Gary White telling him uh, that it was a strike two after he was accused of remo removing items from his estranged wife Jennifer's memorial shrine outside of his home the judge telling him that was a second strike on his home arrest conditions and then telling him he was going to be on strict house arrest not allowed to leave uh, for any work related reasons only medical legal things like that uh, and we were hearing that he was going to be back in court we had assumed uh, that this was going to be again another hearing on whether or not he was going to be in custody and Stephanie, well, let's go to you uh, at Fotis Julius's Farmington home, where again we are hearing that he is dead. Stephanie. Yes, we are here outside of his Farmington house, Jefferson Crossing here, and you can see there is a several law enforcement officers here. Uh, you can see that there are several cars here, and you can see flashing lights if you look through the woods there. We have from a source that once again, Fotis Julius is dead from a possible suicide attempt. Now, we do not have that confirmed from state police, but we have several sources that have told us this. Now, as you know, he was supposed to be in Stanford court at noon today. He did not show up. Uh, there was a problem with the bond, the $6 million bond, a very high bond after he was recently charged with his wife's murder, Jennifer Dula. She has been missing since May 24th, the mother of five. And now we are hearing from law enforcement that once again, Fotis Dulos is dead outside of his home here. You guys heard. Crossing in Farmington, and you can see several police officers. You heard what that reporter just said. She slipped up. She said, instead of saying sources, she said, we have heard from law enforcement that Fotis Dulos is dead. So for those of you who believe his slimy attorney that's re representing him and his sister, he's not, he's not alive. He's dead. And I'm happy there's one less murderer on this planet, one less evil demon. He's an evil demon. And, um, you know, he has five children, but he's a demon. And those kids and those children would not be safe around a monster like him. So he is definitely dead.
stopped here on the scene and if you look down the road here you can see there are two fences up so no one is allowed down this private drive also uh you might remember uh last week you know we talked about the memorial that had been uh tampered with outside of his home that memorial has grown and now that memorial is for his wife jennifer there are several flowers there i'm looking at them right now a lot of purple flowers for domestic violence uh once again though if you look outside his house right there you can see a yukon ambulance just pulled up um, on the scene. I'm going to walk around here just to get a better look and I see several police officers here. Um, you can see a lot of cars, flashing lights. I believe I see a fire truck through the woods there with red flashing lights. Um, another ambulance pulling away from the house right now. I can see it through the woods. Not sure where it's headed to, um, but I'm seeing at least two ambulances here in front of his Jefferson Crossing home here in Farmington. It looks like that ambulance is coming out right now. So we're gonna take that live if you can look right there. Okay, we are seeing the ambulance coming out from Jefferson Crossing. Uh, it looks like they're going pretty quickly too. I mean, that's pretty quick considering this is a private road. And there, I want you to listen. And you can see Farmington police is right behind okay. that ambulance. Ambulance is going pretty quickly here. So that that's um, that's his body being removed and brought to the hospital. So um, anyways, I, I appreciate each and every one of you for coming in here. I wasn't looking at the comments. Um, he um, allegedly um, took allegedly took. Um, his own life, whether it was by gunshot or um, carbon monoxide, I would think that um, basically somebody like him, a coward like him, wouldn't have shot himself. But when they put up the um, when they put up the tarp, I wanted to show you guys the tarp that they had up. Hello, Laura Bruno. Good to see you. Thank you for thank you for being in here, Laura Bruno. But when the police put up the tarp, it's either usually because there's a body in plain view to the to the public and there was helicopters that were of hovering over so they they had um they had the tarp up because his body was on the ground uh so they were covering the view of his body to the you know to the public and um that ambulance was removing the body and bringing him to the hospital uh whether he had a faint pulse at that time or not it doesn't matter Hello, Yvonne. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. And thank you to any of the new subscribers who are here. Hello from Georgia. Welcome in, Red Ruby. Thank you to anyone who has given Super Chat and all of my new channel members um, and all of my Patreon supporters and everyone who leaves positive comments in the comment section below all the videos. Hello, New York Dominican, my fellow retired NYPD uh, police officer. Thank you so much for being in here. Everybody say hello to my good friend, New York Dominican Jury. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, again, this is not anything that people should be getting upset over. We should be happy that, A, the taxpayers are saved housing a, a murderer uh, for the rest of his life in jail. We should be happy that he doesn't get to eat, sleep, breathe, and function when his wife his wife, the mother of five children, is are, is dead because of him. So um, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, folks, this is not anybody that we should be shedding a tear for. We should be shedding tear for the victims of domestic violence, the little innocent children who are killed, like Thomas Volva. Volva, let's look at these cases of people who are. Did, and and Photos Dulos's wife, uh, Jennifer. Let's look at these people who don't even have a chance, who their lives are snuffed out in the prime of their. She was in the prime of her life, and she was murdered brutally by her own loved one, a person who was supposed to love her, the father of her children. You know, so I don't. I don't listen. These are bad people. These are bad people, and when they take their own lives or when they something bad happens to them we should all say to ourselves karma is a bitch karma is a bitch right hello donna 
Welcome in from Georgia. Thank you for joining. If you're new here, let me know where you're watching, city and state or your country. If you're outside of America, let me know where you're watching from so I can say hello. Hello, Beth Days. Good to see you. Um, thank you so much. No Shed by Courageous Ks. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. He was a piece of garbage. Uh, Los Angeles, California says Playworthy. Welcome in from LA. Uh, I'm new from Claremore. Hello, very good. Clinton, Mississippi, Oklahoma. We got Boston, Carla D, but you're not new. There you go, Julie. Thank you so much for joining. Michael B, moderator, fellow Patreon supporter and channel member. Thank you so much for being in here. Uh, hello from Ireland. Good to see you, Anne. Thank you for joining. Sap Sacramento, California, Laurel, Mississippi. Thank you so much. Long Island, New York. I got a lot of new Long Island, New Yorkers. Hello. Nassau, Long Island. There you go, Laura Bruno. I know you're not in Nassau, but hello. Welcome in from Scotland. Purple, Purple Orchard. Thank you so much for being here. Let me scroll back because I'm missing. Katie Waffle Mama from England. Welcome in from across the pond. Uh, Denise in Athens. Just moved here four years ago. I hope you're enjoying it down there in muggy, humid Athens, Georgia. Ron, I changed my YouTube name. I was Kayla Roberts. Sorry if I confuse you. Much love. Good to see you, Kayla. Thank you so much. Family is the most sacred thing you have in your life. You should protect it with your own life. Playworthy, very good comment. Hello, Joey Brooklyn. Good to see you, Jojo. Thank you for joining. Ex-police officer from the UK, Mark Woods. Welcome in, my fellow brother. Uh, Chrissy0115 from Mexico City. Welcome in. Trying to get the chat back. Hold on. Okay, the chat's moving really fast, so I apologize if I'm missing any of you guys. Um, so, again, Photos Dulos was um, going to be on trial for the murder of his wife. If you don't know who this person is or if you don't know about this case, go and Google Photos Dulos. Look at the, com um, look at the name in my description and my title. I hashtagged it. Go and Google Photos Dulos. It's too much for me to talk about right now because I already went over this case. I'm just reporting the updates that he took his own life today. And we are now a safer planet because this guy is no longer walking free. He essentially was free on house arrest. arrest. He was free on house arrest. So really to me, house arrest is you're inside your own home. You could do whatever you want. Uh, Fireside Chats with Kim is in here, and if she is, sending her lots of love and strength. Lots of love to my good friend Kim, Fireside Chats with Kim. Thank you, Kim Lowry, for being here, and I hope you are well. Everybody put some hearts and prayer emojis in the chat for my friend right there, Kim Lowry. Let's give her some hearts and some prayer. She is having... Um, she is uh, having major health issues that she's dealing with right now, and she is in a hospice program at home. So let's send her our love, our support, and our prayers to Kim Lowry. And um, we send you a lot of love and positivity from my house to yours. So thank you. And these are all my family members here sending you a lot of love, Kim. We all love you, and we're wishing you nothing but the best. So again, folks... You know, um, this is again, this is again a case where we are not going to shed any tears for Photos Dulos. This guy is a brutal, brutal, sick man. And, um, you know, we're saving a lot of money in our court system by him, um, you know, taking his own life. And this, this guy was a real, real piece of garbage. A monster walking the face of the earth is no longer here. So Photos Dulos took his own life in a cowardly fashion. And me as a retired police officer, I don't shed a tear for him or for any uh, of his family because his family, albeit they are not involved in this, you know, you, you have somebody who has taken uh, another person, a mother of five, you've taken her life and you, you don't even have the you don't even have the balls to leave. Um, I'm, I'm hoping he did leave a note behind, maybe confessing to what he did. Uh, that would be nice, but I don't think that he's capable of that. I really don't think he's capable of it. So um, we'll see what happens. We'll see how this unfolds. So here we go, guys. I, um, again, like I said, Photos Dulos reported from police sources. 
You heard that reporter. She kind of blurted it out. She, the reporters are supposed to say from a source. But she said, from the police, we're getting Fotos Dulos is dead. So um, I think that, I don't, I, I don't, think, I don't think that, um, you know, when police get that information out, that miraculously the person has come back. So, um, again, suicide, half rudder, suicide. Um, we don't know if it was by hanging in his garage. He was found in his garage. We don't know if it's carbon monoxide or if he shot himself. It's unknown at this time. But Fotos Dulos is dead, um, and uh, that's enough for me when sources from the police department leak it out to the press purposely. It's not done unintentionally. It's done intentionally. So I'm happy to report that um, I'm confident that uh, Fotos Dulos is gone. So that's a good thing, a good thing. And you know what? Even if by some remote chance it is true that he's got a pulse, hopefully he's brain dead and he won't be able to really uh, be functioning and stand trial. He'll be just in a vegetative state. But I, I, I'm, con I'm convinced that he is uh, gone with the wind. So say la vie. We'll see it. We'll see it later. We'll see it later. Uh, and he is not get. He does not get to go to heaven. He goes to hell because anybody that kills themselves, Joey Brooklyn can tell you right here in the chat. Uh, when Joey Brooklyn can tell you who is a good Catholic, will tell you what happens to you when you commit suicide. So uh, I'll wait for Joey Brooklyn's response to that because I know he's typing right now. Duty Ron, he will be judged. There you go. There you go. He can, Jack's mom says he could sit and drool all over himself all they want. Anyways, um, all right, guys. So that's it. I got nothing else to report. Photos Dulos dead by killing himself. Cowardly fashion. Say la vie. We'll see you later. And guys, I'll see you tonight. I will be bringing you guys live updates tonight, uh, probably around 9 p.m., 9 to 10 p.m., Eastern Time on um, uh, Baby Thomas Valva. Uh, that is the boy who was killed by his father, a New York City transit police officer, Michael Valva, uh, on Friday. Um, so I'll, be, I'll be filling you guys in on the updates on that case. There's a lot, a lot to talk about, and I will, uh, I will give you about 35 minutes of a live tonight. So, um, all these people that are saying he's got a pulse are just whatever. <laughs> he's confirmed. He's confirmed dead. He doesn't. He he's he's gone with the wind. So uh, tonight, 9 p.m. between 9 and 10 Eastern, updates, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for joining. Much love and respect from my house to yours. Photos Dulos gone, dead by suicide. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for joining.